Hey guys, it's me again, Barry with Barry's A Track and Classic Car Radio up here. And this unit was sent in for a warranty service right about a day before the warranty expired. Uh, it was sent in because it's uh, it's no longer changing tracks, so we're just going to do a real quick test. We're not going to run it through all the paces, just going to make sure it changes tracks because everything else was fine. So let's go ahead and turn the radio on, make sure that still works. <laughs> Okay, let's pop a tape in, and this is a pretty popular music, so I'm going to keep the songs very short. I'm going to switch tracks a bunch and not leave the tape in very long. Okay, track change. And that's it. Oh, sorry guys, uh, my phone was ringing. I was a little bit distracted by that. So there, there she is. Uh, it still works through both sides. The a radio still works. A track still works. Now it's changing tracks. Uh, it was, it was actually a design issue. The, uh, the, the, the ratchet that engages the track change cam was just barely catching the end of it, and that's when it was designed. I mean, that thing should have been mounted about an eighth inch higher uh, so it can catch the center of that cam. Uh, as it turns out, over the years, gravity, believe it or not, finally pulled that ratchet down enough to where it would no longer engage the cam. So I just had to put a little bend in it, get it going again, and let's just try it one more time, just for fun. Okay, so it's changing tracks consistently now, and so she's ready to go. I'm Barry with Barry's A-Track and Classic Car Radio Repair, and uh, this was a warranty repair, um, and, and it actually was a problem. Uh, I guess I should have caught it, but if the track change mechanism is working fine and it's solid, there's really not much reason to really take a look at it. So I didn't, and so this is what I uh, this is what I end up with. So uh, my phone number and uh, website are in the description below. I do ask all customers to visit my website before calling me with a bunch of questions because my website is designed to answer actually all your questions. And if you're going to do business with me, you're going to have to fill out a work order and refer to written material anyway. So you might as well go ahead and read my terms and conditions to find out what I'm about before calling me with a bunch of questions. Um, I'm happy to talk to you after that. So thanks so much for watching and listening, and we'll see you guys next time.